Chetwind is filled with beautiful gardens, and the industrial side of Chetwind is no different. Does Cho Construction makes sure every year that their business has beautiful flower boxes. We talked to Marcella Barrington about how Does Cho plans their beautiful garden every year. Usually we sit down and chat with Bob, Bob Ink Pen, who usually plants all of this out. He will go out and buy the plants and we talk and decide what kind of flowers we're going to put in. And I think we're getting more and more boxes every year. So <laughs> we, have, we have lots. Descho always has bright and beautiful gardens every year. Marcella explained it's something Does Cho does to help beautify Chetwind. A special part, I think we're doing our best to help beautify Chetwind. I mean, we're along the access road here, so especially now with the trees down, it's super nice to see all the flower beds in here and all the flowers growing, and it does make a big difference. Having flowers growing in front of your business seems like a lot of work, but it actually isn't as bad as one may think. Marcella says it helps solidify that your business cares about the town and just wants to help make it a little bit more beautiful than it was before. Well, it just shows that you care about the town. You want to see the town being beautiful for all the tourists we have go through here. So it's, uh, you don't want it looking industrial. You just want it to be beautiful. Link's Pub has gone through quite a few changes as of late. Along with the name change and the renovations to keep the pub up to date, Link's also added a gorgeous garden. We talked to Rob Link and he explained he had this planned for quite some time. I kind of envisioned this uh, quite a while ago actually uh, and it's just coming to fruition now. And then we just got the ball rolling in, in, uh, I think it was in early May and with the help of the, the, the grants that are available through the, through the uh, town, uh, we proceeded to go ahead with the, with the renovations at that time. Looking at the pub's garden, you can clearly see that there is really a mix of everything. Rob got a little help in plant selection and told us just exactly how much variety his garden has. A mix of everything. Uh, we've got trees, we've got uh, perennials, and we've got some annuals in here. Uh, the beds themselves, these ones have, uh, they're all annuals, uh, but the main, main bed is mostly perennials. We've thrown in some annuals. And like I say, with the help of Betty, uh, she's basically the expert on the, on the plant selection, so she's helped me quite a bit on that. Links didn't just add the garden for the business aspect of it. Rob wanted to make sure that the pub was just as much part of the neighborhood as the many homes surrounding it. I don't think it's so much for the business as a whole, but as if, you know, part of the neighborhood. Uh, you want to be able to fit in with your neighbors. Uh, nobody wants to drive by a dumpy old little pub uh, when they're going to their homes. You know, you know, people live in this neighborhood too, and we have to coexist.
Lakeview Inns and Suites has a wonderful garden lining the walls of the front entrance, adding a little more of a homey vibe for the guests. Lorraine Coutre told us how exactly this idea came to reality. Uh, actually, the lady Anne that works here with us, she was the one that went ahead and like put everything in there. We got all the flowers from uh, Betty's, um, I can't remember what that place is called, and and went along and helped put them all in there. Our maintenance man, Elvin, actually helped weed it and he's gardening it every day. And it looks basically gorgeous. And to all our staff in the afternoons, we're out there watering it when it was really, really hot. So like everybody took part in helping out with this garden. With everyone pitching in to make sure the garden is well taken care of, it clearly shows the amount of love and care that went into it. For Lorraine, that's exactly why it's so special. The love and the thoughtfulness and all the energy that got put in there, that's why it's such a beautiful garden. Ladies and gentlemen, um, we have a few chairs here, plus right behind uh, Daphne, there's a couple chairs. I'm really sorry for the really crowded conditions because uh, it's dry at least. So uh, if you can move in as close as possible, um, we will start our program in about three minutes. I would like to thank Joe's Pizza, Stone Pizza, for hosting this gathering today because uh, He's new to town, and he is donating the pizza and drinks to uh, this contest, the Beautiful Gardens of Chetwin contest. So, and we have a lot of celebrities here. One is right here, Frank and Audrey. We got celebrities like crazy. It is four o'clock, and um, I would like to introduce the mayor of Chetwin, uh, Mayor Merlin Nichols, and he's going to do a welcome from the District of Chetwin. Come on in. And that was a private joke between me and Leo. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, people who know what a seed looks like, who know where to put it in the ground, who know what to do with it when it comes up. Beautiful gardens, even those who have supplied us with lovely plants. Now is the time, you've got him in the corner, Prom make him promise that he's going to... <laughs> <laughs> One more year, you heard it. <laughs> On behalf of the District of Chetwind, Mayor and Council, it is my pleasure to call to order this, 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 this beautiful gathering of happy people. I've never seen happier people. I mean, look there in the back. People are just smiling. Just, it must have something to do with gardens, eh? Yes. So on the behalf of the District of Chetwind, Mayor and Council, it is indeed my pleasure to welcome all of you to this beautiful gardens celebration. I'm sorry about the rain. I actually was a little later getting here because I took a tour around to see if the creeks were still going under the bridges. Uh, they are, as of uh, a few minutes ago. So, Leo? Yes. I'm ready. Thank you very much, uh, Mayor Nichols, uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And could the people over there please come on down and the Bazandowskis come on down because we're going to be walking over there. 
and there's two chairs here, so fill the seats that are there. I realize it's really crowded, but we have no other option because we were supposed to be outside, and um, outside we would be really, really happy. So the Bazandowskis, come on down. Um, uh, the Maccabees, come on down. Is it Maccabees? Yes, come on down. And then I'll start uh, with uh, Mr. Lasser, who uh, is one of the original people with Communities in Bloom. So, Charlie, come on up. Thank you, Leo. I'd like to welcome everyone here as well because uh, this is the 18th year now. And this started out as the beautiful gardens uh, and communities in bloom. And it turned out very, just wonderful. And it's a pleasure to see as many people uh, here. And uh, we, um, it's nice that the radio and TV station can have this. And this will be seen not only here in Chetwin, it'll be seen all, all across Canada through uh, the satellite. So it's something that we uh, were very proud of. And I'd like to thank uh, Leo for all the work that he's done. He's the spark plug behind this all. And then I'd also like to congratulate all the judges. I know it was very difficult this year because we had so many wonderful gardens. So uh, I'd just like to say again, uh, I hope everyone has a good time and uh, there's pizza here, and uh, enjoy yourselves. Thank you. For many years, Chetwin's IRC Catch Act has been a wonderful sponsor and winner of the Peace FM Beautiful Gardens Contest. Elsie and her family every year have put their heart and soul into making the front of their building look absolutely beautiful to help welcome our tourists and our visitors and our residents to our community. It's important for our community to look welcoming to our visitors and to our tourists and to our residents. And the Chetwin Chamber of Commerce really wishes to thank all of our businesses who participate each year in the Beautiful Gardens Contest with Peace FM. Color, I love uh, it, it. It's enjoyment. It's enjoyment. It's you have a rough day and you come out and you deadhead your plants and you flower, you water them, and it's a nice feeling to see the growth. And it does help the image, like downtown. What has happened over the years? Uh, people complain because it's such an expense, but a community is remembered for the cleanliness and the appearance that they give. And so when people come through here, uh, they've always noticed their beautiful trees, which are now being replaced and will take a long time to come back. But if they walk downtown and they see the carvings and the flowers, they can see a community that is putting an effort into what we are. And it's a nice little community and it's noticed because of what we do. Okay, starting off with uh, certificates. Um, Don, can you come up and help me, please? And we do still have spare chairs. Okay, uh, we have some celebrities that have added to the beautiful gardens, and the first one will be Home Hardware. So I would like the representatives from Home Hardware they have contributed mega prizes. So would you like to come up, David, and get your certificate? Thank you. Thank you very much. Do you want to introduce any of your staff because they helped? Uh, yeah, there's uh, Joey here, Nelson, and Steve at the back. Excellent. Home Hardware has traditionally, over the 18 years, been 
number one sponsor of Beautiful Gardens in Chetwood. This is a love in, ladies and gentlemen, because we all are in the community and we love our gardens and our flowers. The second is, uh, where did the mayor go? He's lost. We have to send out search and rescue. Uh, mayor Nichols, where are you? Okay. Can we uh, get you here? We have a certificate. The District of Chowan traditionally supports it and this year has been very eager. And um, Mayor Nichols is also a grand gardener in the past and has won many laurels. Thank you very much. I signed this. Yes, you did. And you didn't even notice your I name. Did not. Urban Systems from Fort St. John is also a major contributor. Said that we will be mailing that certificate to them. You're like Van and White. Give me a letter to turn. Yeah. Um, I, I got a call. High Sky Enterprises, uh, they were going to send a representative. Anyone from High Sky? They may very well be sending it. It might be a few minutes late. But the Waldies this year are blue ribbon sponsors of this event. So it is really a great event that High Sky supports it. The Eddies. Where did the Eddies go, Brad? And uh, the Eddies can for is also a red ribbon sponsor. Devon Wedicombe and Aspen Place, just outside of town. They are also Red Ribbon sponsors, and this is their first year, and I really appreciate that. And they'll be entering next year in the business category. Joe's Pizza. Where's Joe's Pizza? Can one of the representatives from the pizza place come out? Oh, we'll give it to them in when they're less busy. Larry Hooley and Elizabeth. Is Larry here? Oh, that bugger. Anyway, <laughs> Elizabeth, can you come and get this? Pinewood Mobile Home Park traditionally has been a major sponsor of Beautiful Gardens. And if you visit Pinewood Mobile Home Park, you'll see that they keep it immaculate. And this year, Elizabeth is also an entry for her own place, not Pineview. Now, I have a whole group of people here. Who should I give it to? Quint Essentials Quilters. They, every year, have get donated a block. But that's a secret. Don't tell anyone, because we're going to be giving away the Joanne Roberts Memorial Award in a few minutes. And that is a wonderful thing. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You'll be up again. NIS donated a brush saw for someone who uh, can do some brushing and she is in the hospital so she called me and said I'm sorry I cannot be here. Picture It did the picture for our uh, Joanne Roberts Memorial Award so that is another one. We are really doing well this year because we have a lot of sponsors that absolutely love this. QP Local 3052, could I have Audra? Where is Audra? Audra is representing that, and she'll be making a speech in a few minutes if we don't get washed out, because she's on w water patrol. West Fraser Sawmills, uh, it's Mr. Roy. He is on holidays, and I had hoped. Would you uh, take this on behalf of West Fraser, Clay? Okay. They are Green Ribbon sponsors, and I really appreciate their consistent work with West Fraser. Thank you. Your dollar store with more, we don't have a rep because they are all holidaying together. And that's your dollar store with more and the uh, Gary family. And they are absolutely wonderful and you'll see why in a few minutes, okay? Give it a few seconds. I'm sorry I'm so long-winded, but we have so many donations that are just super good. The sponsor of the uh, business category is IRC Cat Shack. And they've been, every year, they put on a massive display. George Melia is the person who assembled all of these, and he will probably be coming very soon because he'll smell the pizza. <laughs> Many of the really, really incredible 
decorations have been given by Wendy at Farmer Save Chetwin. So when you go in there, and we have a representative. Thank you very much. <laughs> I like this girl. <laughs> and where is our judge? Little Faye Oslison without a E. Faye, where are you? And I'm going to make her sit down here because she's going to be doing a presentation herself in a few minutes. She corrected me many years ago. I'm Faye without a E. Come on up here, Faye. And you judged. Uh, which category? Fairy gardens. Fairy gardens. Audra Wright, we'll hold it for you when you come up again so you don't have to be uh, through here. Uh, Mel Deck, you want to pass it to Mel so we don't lose it? Mel Deck is smiling. He is one of our best well-known judges that's always volunteered. Betty Deck, I don't know where Betty's gone to. She's maybe lost on Jackfish Lake Road. I hope not. Uh, Bob and Bobby Nicholson, they're reined in and they're fixing their home, so they weren't able to be here. Don Newman is in Dawson Creek, and she did the kids category. So this year you'll be able to watch the kids on air because uh, Rachel and Don together did the video on children. Alex Brownlee also judged the business area. Can you give that to Mel and you can give it to Alex? And there's more people coming in. I think we have a cast of thousands on this video. <laughs> Connie is keep wa uh, Connie Campen is uh, watered in, and Ellen Hills is Ellen going to be here? No. Can you pass that to Audra, and she will give it to it. Now this is the good part. This is the part that I really like, but I lost my agenda. <laughs> okay, I would like. Uh, the following kids to come up and um, could I have a staff members um, who are not at a camera uh, who's there Peter can you start bringing the kids stuff up okay we have some real winners here and I'm really proud to announce that Ireland Bazandowski Ireland can you come up can you bring Ireland's uh, basket forward Peter and Ireland will also get a little um, fairy house because she loves fairy gardens. Calling fairy garden prizes. The fairy garden prizes? Oh, you are coming. Good. And Ireland gets a little fairy garden box too that's right beside it and that was donated by PV Mart from Dawson Creek because I'm a frequent flyer to get fairies. I really like fairies. What's wrong with that? Uh, a young man always likes fairies. Ireland, this is your prize this year. Okay, you have anything to say? Thank you. Yes. We love Ireland's green thumb. Hey, why don't you take your prize? We need another prize. Let's get an assembly line, Dylan and uh, Peyton and stuff. The second prize and third prize and fourth. Kenzie Uberno. Kenzie. This is her first year, so next year she will probably, we got the prize coming. Kenzie, do you want to say something as the crew rushes to get you more stuff? <laughs> You're a good talker. You're going to be on the videotape. Here it comes, Kenzie. This is really wonderful. And all of this stuff we shopped at your dollar store with more. So you can catch butterflies. You can catch your grandma. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, that's your prize. Now we have <laughs> RJ. RJ, where's RJ? RJ, where are you hiding, man? We need the prizes, guys. RJ Nichols. That's a good name. And your grandma, she might borrow some of the stuff from your basket, so you be careful. Okay, RJ? Look at that. You got a net, you got all sorts of stuff. So, and you got a squirt gun. A big squirt gun, so we can chase grandma around. Thank you. Okay, RJ, next year, grow an enormous garden. Colin and Jesse Ray McAvee, is that right pronunciation? I need two of them, the McAvees, where are they? Hiding.
Who is Cole? You Cole? And what is your name, honey? You are Jesse Ray, right? Okay, you want to face the camera and wave? Okay, this is your dollar store worth more. Each of you have that. There's squirt guns in, but don't start squirting today. Okay, honey? Okay? We see it. Dylan, where is Dylan? Dylan Ethier, our summer student, accompanied some people uh, this year. And uh, whew. can you come forward? And Faye, can you come forward too? And the staff of Peace FM, can you get all the prizes for uh, Special Garden? Ty Hoover or Lori Simpson, where are they? Oh, yes, that's right, too. I was with Faye and Connie when they uh, did the judging for the Fairy Box or Special Gardens. And they did all an amazing job. So I'd like to introduce Faye, to maybe to say a few words. Thank you, Dylan. Um, it was a pleasure to be a, asked to be a judge. And uh, I had a lot of fun. Connie and I and Dylan, we got lost only twice in, in Chatwin. And uh, we found out that GPS doesn't work all over Chatwin. <laughs> our, our navigator here, he got, a lo got us more lost. But anyway, the gardens, the three gardens that we judged, we judged the fairy garden and then two other gardens, and they're all gorgeous in their own way. Um, but I do have a suggestion for next year. Fairy gardens should be something on their own. You can call it fairy box or special. I know, but I think it needs to be on its own. Yeah. It was. And Faye and Leo are the same. We both like fairies. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, it was a pleasure, and um, I'd love to do it again. Thank you. Ty Hoover and Lori, just hang up here. They are first place in the Fairy Box and Special Gardens. They're going to get the hammock from Home Hardware. So if you hear a lot of swinging downtown, that's Ty. And they also get that package right there. Robin Hilderman, where is her son? There he is. So what you get is that little container there. And also you get some miracle Grow, And what else do they get? A rake. So you got a lot of stuff. In the third position, Sherry Chappelle. Uh, Nana, do you want to come up and get your prize? Nana has entered and has won the Grand Gardener Award in the past, and this year they're in a separate category, Fairy Box or Special Garden. And they win flower holders, shovels, and this little package right here. And that is from the drugstore. So let's make sure that they get Lots of all their prizes. Okay, Peter? Uh, Marlon, Mel, and Alex. Uh, can you come forward, Mel, because you're going to talk now. Marlon, you want to come and talk about the business awards. And next year, I hope to have many more business awards. Is Rob from uh, Lynx here also? Go ahead. Now I have the microphone. Okay. You're putting me on the spot here. You want me to talk? Okay, so uh, I helped judge the uh, business gardens category with counselors Mel Deck and counselor Alec Brownlee, who's not here today. And uh, we saw uh, the three entries, Lakeview Inns and Suites, and Does Joe and uh, Link's Pub and Grill, which as you know, formerly known as Murray's. And uh, 
it was a lot of fun. I'm uh, excited to give these prizes out. So, what order are we go in here? Let's go first prize. Ladies. Okay. Pavendra, what does it get? Uh, can staff members look and see where is the? Oh, right here. <laughs> Hold it. They get this uh, patio set. That's uh, a thing. A duck. Thank you. And four patio chairs. And, and four patio chairs. <coughs> Anyone from Lynx here today? No, nope, doesn't look like it. Second place? Uh, second place is. Yeah, does Cho second place? Anyone from, anyone from does Cho here? They're going to be winning one shovel, moon rakes, and flower holders. And we do have a representative of Lakeview Inn and Suites here. Uh, Lakeview Inns and Suites third place. Come up, you get your prize. <laughs> Oh yeah, you got this classic wind chime. It's weather resistant, hangs 32 inches. And it'll save your knee. This knee thing. Can you tell I'm a gardener, by the way? And this uh, thing. Cool. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. It was a lot of fun to judge. I didn't. Uh, I I kind of got here last minute last year for beautiful gardens, so I didn't get to take part. But I was glad to this year, and it was sunny the day I was judging. So you know, that's been a bonus the last couple weeks. So thank you very much, Linda. Do you want to come up forward, please? And um, we're going to try to assemble all the prizes here. And Linda is going to do the new gardens and introduce Audra. And Audra will say a few words. Hello, I'm Linda Morgan, the afternoon host at Peace FM. I've been a judge for this uh, beautiful gardens contest before, and I gotta say, man, we got some great beautiful gardens here in Chetwind. And I'd like to uh, introduce Audra, the winner of New Gardens. Oh, uh, sorry. The judge. Oh, the judge, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the judge. Hello. Um, we were asked this year to judge for the first time. And uh, there's some beautiful gardens out there. Um, we had a little bit of trouble because some were vegetables, some were flowers. So in the long run, we, uh, Ruth, we picked Ruth and Eric Schmidt. Beautiful vegetable garden. Where's Ruth? Ruth, come on forward, Ruth. Ruth, I, we need two people. Okay, okay, sorry. This is what you won, Eric. You, you won this, uh, what is it? called um it's, it's a cooler yeah it's a planter looks like it, it looks yeah like a no, it's not a planter it looks like a planter thank you very much uh you can leave it here for the time being okay so that is a major prize and numbers two diane bazadowski come on down Woo! diane Diane, you've won that wagon that is full of other prizes, and you've won a tote also. Oh, thank you very much. Thanks. And uh, you'll get it by the yeah, evening here. Yeah. Yep. Three and then fourth. Go ahead. 
So third place is Anne Seguin. Is Anne here? Um, Anne won, wins. Uh, Ronholtz. She Anne wins. Uh, what is? Ronholtz. Flower holders and assorted prizes also. Uh, she actually texted me that she had to go to work. So and is Sandra here? Come and call Sandra. Come on up. Oh. There's one more. Summer's around here. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Going on. Onwards ho. Um, the next category is the one of the most prestigious, and it is um, Peter. Can you come forward to established gardens? And Betty's not here. Do you want to say a few things about established gardens? Well, these are the gardens that have been around for a bit around. So these have been really been tended to, really cared for. And all these people worked very, very hard for it on years and years and years. So we just want to recognize those types of people. So again, unfortunately, our judge isn't here right now. But is anybody else cold in here? I find it really cold. <laughs> so in first place for established gardens, we have Peggy and Barry Ryan. Are they? You two right there? Well, you get a beautiful fireplace right here. <laughs> the fire pit, you got a rake and a shovel as well, so you can put it in there properly. <laughs> Fair enough. Congratulations again. In second place, we have Elizabeth Hogan. Is she here? Elizabeth? I mean, unless you really want to. <laughs> and Elizabeth, you got a brush saw from NIS. So you get this here. You got the beautiful and hand. And what there. else does she have there? There's more stuff all together. And you get just this one. And uh, it's all in the corner. You get a. Uh, yes. Yeah. This? It, yeah. This? Uh, no, no, not that one. Not that one. That's a different prize. I'm like, oh. And in third place, it's Shelly Proctor. Is she here? Yes, yeah, Shelly's here. Where's Shelly? She's hiding. There she is. Do you want to come up, Shelly? <laughs> Big round of applause. Shelly, got a bicycle for you. Cool. Yeah, beautiful decorations. It's right there. Right on. Awesome. And then it's the, uh, the awards. Thank you. Just another hand for the established gardeners this year. Thank you. I sure wish it was nice and sunny so we could be outside in comfort. But right in this uh, area here, it's really cozy. And we have a very special award that um, started many, many years ago, and we have really great uh, recipient this year. The Joanne Roberts Memorial Award has two parts to it. One is the um, QP Union, which Joanne belonged to, and could Audra come up, please? Or is she gone? Oh, you're right there. Audra, and a representative from the quilting group. And um, we're going to talk a little bit about Frank Salt and Audrey. Now, I am just looking where the quilt is. Oh, it's right there. Would you like to say a few words to Audra on behalf of the local? So, uh, Julie Listich and myself received this award many years ago, and uh, it's a very special 
meaningful award for us as we worked with Joanne as a co-worker and then Joanne also went on to um, council after that. 13 years ago, I don't know if whoever knows Joanne knows she wouldn't really take no for an answer. And uh, I had never gardened before, never quilted before. And uh, now I do both. So perseverance, Joanne had it all. And I remember the day she took me out to Salts, I was so overwhelmed with the flowers and the birdhouses. I can honestly say I, I'm glad I, that Joanne didn't take no for an answer because I've learned so much over the years that I've even uh, remember many years taking my own daughters there to go pick their flowers at Salts. And uh, very, very deserving for you, Frank. Um, enjoyed working with you over the years and enjoyed taking my kids out there. And uh, me and uh, Julie have one to match. A <laughs> little bit different quilt, but um, I'm honored to present this to you. I just wanted to say that on behalf of the Quintessential Quilters Guild, we're very pleased to uh, continue this tradition in honor of Joanne and more happy that, that you're winning it. Uh, Jane Minville was our creator of, of this block and she's unfortunately not able to be here today. So thank you so much for letting us continue to be part of this great community tradition. So thank you. Before uh, Frank and Audrey say anything, the Joanne Roberts Memorial Award is for a person who has contributed to the community as a great neighbor. I don't want to break up, but uh, when, when I returned from the hospital, there was a very large bouquet in my front yard from Frank and Audrey. You've been a good neighbor, good friend, and we love you. Thank you. Yeah. We love you too, Leo. I, I don't know you uh, how you do all this work, but uh, uh, I know. <laughs> but uh, Joanne Roberts, which was used to be Joanne Gerstle, um, that was the first families we met when we came to Chetwin, Gerstles and Campbells, and um, Joanne was just just. Uh, a little girl then, but uh, she, she was always a beautiful girl and always had a good heart. <coughs> and um, they uh, they showed us how to live in the north and learned us a lot about water pumps and freezing and all that stuff. <laughs> yeah. So, and uh, um, I wish I could keep going with the garden, but I. I we can't do it, so, and the girls, they don't want to do it because they don't live here, I've said, uh, Julie does, but she's also got a new job, so, and um, I know everybody thinks I'm a good gardener, but um, my girls um, did a lot more than I did, so, I got to pack in now. <laughs> It's 18 years, and uh, Frank and Audrey the Salts have held the community together by growing tremendously good plants every every year. I think I'll come and visit with a case of beer. How's that? <laughs> so this is 18 years, and I'm really proud that the community can stand together throughout the year and grow wonderful, wonderful flowers and make our community so much better each and every day by having wonderful flowers and bountiful garden vegetables. So I would like to say thank you for coming. I'm sorry that it's such crowded conditions, but who cares? We're cozy and we like each other. That's all we need to know. Thank you. God bless. Thank you.